Welcome folks, R38 here with a new series from my channel, FTL Faster Than Light. This is basically, the easiest way to think of this game is it's a Star Trek simulator. That's about as fast as explanation I can think of it. Uh, it's actually described as a roguelike like. Uh, basically it's permanent death, there's different areas, there's leveling up of sorts, there's progression. Overall, it's a game that I am looking forward to playing. Um, as you can see, uh, I just recently cleared my... Uh, I've only played this once before, uh, and I only got through halfway through it. So it was basically just a test recording. Didn't work at all. Uh, so far, I'm trying a completely different software. I think it's working out pretty well to record. So, it is about time that we start jumping into this, then. So, I'm gonna go... New game. So, there's nine different ships with two different layouts. Each, you start out with the Kestrel. Uh, it's a type of bird, I think. Uh, so, we've got three humans. Common and uninteresting. No exceptional traits. Um, probably, I'm recording this at 480p, just to reduce the lag, so... Probably won't be able to read most of this, but uh, we got Cadriel, Jill, and Tuck as our crew. Uh, we got two weapons. We got the Artemis missile and the Burst Laser Mark II. Uh, fairly, this is a fairly average ship compared to some of the other ones. Uh, we've got our systems here, and this is the achievements we have to do to unlock the layout. So you have two of the three. Uh, either have six unique uh, species of aliens on the ship uh, simultaneously, a full arsenal, uh, so having every system and subsystem installed at once, uh, and, or a tough little ship, basically repairing to full health if you only have one left. Good luck if you try to go for this one. So that's what the ship looks like. Uh, then of course there's different ways to unlock the other ships. Uh, we will basically unlock them as we go. I'm going to wuss out and go on easy. Uh, the reason? Easy is hard mode. <laughs> Normal is hardcore mode. <laughs> there is no easy in this game. Uh, easy is a misnomer, I think. It's normal and hard. <laughs> so we are going to jump straight into this. So this is the basic gist of how this game's going to go. Uh, the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. Uh, you'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure you to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing Rebel Fleet can catch up. And then there's a little bit of tip about solar flares. So this is our ship. Uh, space bar to pause. Gonna be doing that a lot. Uh, and I've already forgotten how to play already. So uh, this is to close all the doors. This is to open all of them. Oh, press it twice and these will open. Uh, so let's go ahead and move these guys to drill. Uh, you're gonna stay there and be our pilot. Jill, put you on shields, and then I'll go ahead and put talk onto weaponry. Get those online as it starts. Uh, so just a quick synopsis. Here's our hull integrity. So we have 30 out of 30. Here's our scrap, which is basically our currency. Uh, here's our fuel, our missiles, and our drone parts, our shields, evade and oxygen percentages, our crew, with different subsystems, the autofire button, which will never be activated until one very particular ship. Uh, we can upgrade our ship here. Here's our crew, here's our equipment. Um, I will uh, say that's not right. This is not going to be a blind playthrough. This might be the first time I'm officially playing this for recording but I have watched one too many Let's Plays. So we are gonna jump off to... So this is a civilian sector, or the first sector. So we've got different beacons. Uh, there's a config file that lets you see the little yellow dotted lines to see the path. Here's some nebula. Uh, let's go to this location. And there's already a battle to start with. I want to attack. And immediately pause. So this guy's already starting out with shields, so I'm gonna blast his shields to pieces and then shoot with a British laser on his uh, weaponry there. And we just sit and wait. Okay, he's got an eye on, which will be harmless. Okay. Whew. Uh, let's just, uh, we don't need to use any more Artemises. I uh, just need to get his holes 
down. Boom, boom, boom. And then let's go burst laser. I need to preserve my missiles because as soon as those are out, the art is worthless. And he explodes in a fireball. Uh, and it looks like I got some recent scans. So, yep. So if I, so we got a little bit more scrap. Ooh, nice. So now we can, so that basically gave us a scan of the sector. So now we know where there's some stores, some distress calls. We're trying to get to this exit. Um, ooh, I don't want to go there. <laughs> Possible ship detected and the beacon coordinates appear to be close to a nearby sun. You know what, let's go there anyways. <laughs> Suicide. <laughs> Uh, I arrive at the beacon to find myself dangerously close to a star. And of course we got an automated rebel fl ship, which is not going to burn. Why do these things always have shields? So basically, uh, you guys are going to burn in a fire. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, this is going to hurt. Oh, he missed. And the solar flare is imminent. Uh, burst laser there. Okay, I can handle that. Just vent it out to the atmosphere. Uh, wait, oh, there is out. Just send it out. Nice. Okay, so we got some fuel, some missiles, and some scrap. Nice. Now we just have to wait for the FTL drive to spool. Got only one point of damage. Not bad. Okay, out of here, out of here. Go, go, go. Oh, it's a dead end. Wish I'd known that. That's a waste of fuel. Okay, so next time, this is going to be where the Rebel Fleet is. If I'm anywhere within this arc, I am going to have a bad time because I'm going to have to battle a piece of the fleet. So I just jump out of here. Uh, and another Rebel automated ship. Come on, let me battle some enemies. Okay, so this is a auto scout. Um, I'm just going to... don't need to worry about the Artemis this time because I want to save the equipment and such. I love the soundtrack for this game. <laughs> oh, it's a beam weapon! No! He attacked the... He damaged my meta bay. You know what? You're not going to be useful. Just repair that. <laughs> and he's dead. Investigate the station. Ooh! It's a weapon! Hole Smasher Laser Mark II. Nice! That'll be useful. So this fires three lasers, one damage each, and two damage in the system with rooms. So there's a couple of different types of weapons in the game. You've got a uh, pew 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 weapon, burst lasers, which uh, damage shields, and it's mostly firing. You've got the missile, which completely goes through the shields and has a chance to burst through the hull. Uh, you also have uh, beam weapons, which go wing. <laughs> uh, which basically what they do is uh, slightly damage which basically can attack damage multiple rooms but can't go through shields. You also have ion weapons which take down systems but no hull damage. So there's a variety of different weaponry uh, which is nice. Uh, I could upgrade some systems. Uh, how much power do I need for this? Three power. That's a little bit more than I'm willing to pay at the moment plus I'd have to upgrade the reactor. We'll see how far I can go without needing to damage some things. Uh, let's go... Let's do this. This is running faster than the last time I tried to record. I'll give you that. A strange vessel approaches. Digital message appears on the view screen. This is an automated merchant. Refill this vessel with fuel and it will supply you with drones. Um, two fuel for a drone? Yeah, sorry. I don't really like that deal. Okay. I just need to go this way. I don't want to get trapped by that uh, fleet again. Oh, just a mining, just a mining base on a nearby planet. That's worthless. No scrap is good scrap. No, that's not right. Good scrap is actually scrap. <laughs> um, another sun, which I'll avoid. Let's go here because I need to get some scrap. A small fee will let you continue. No. 
And here's why. This is a slug ship. <sighs> and, what's more? Look between their O2 room and the shield room. Do you see a door? No? Yeah. They are going- I'm not gonna kill them by normal means. I'm going to suffocate them. <laughs> Take that, space slugs! No! Oh, let my guard down. That hurt. <laughs> see the ble Did you see the beam weapon? Yeah. So their oxygen room's down. Now I'm just gonna attack their, uh... I'm just gonna damage their, uh... Weaponry- their, uh, engine there. Oh, this is gonna hurt! Oh, crumb. You can't escape because I killed your engine. You also can't attack me. Now, that did kind of hurt a bit. A bit more than it should have, but uh, these space slugs shall die! Whoa. I might be a little bit... Uh, I might be letting this get to my head a bit, I think. Uh, and then how's everyone doing on health? Oh, did you repair? You jerks! You repaired your ship! Well, take that. Now, I don't dare attack them again, because I just want to let them suffocate. Because I want... There's, a, there's achievements for this game. One of the achievements is to make your ship, uh, your opponent's ship, suffocate. Yeah! <laughs> oh, this is... Also, it gives you a little bit more, uh scrap if you don't completely destroy the ship. Oh, and he's got the... Okay, he missed. So, if you notice this mini-beam, it's gonna be completely deflected by the shields. Victory through asphyxiation! Oh, not again. Just die already. Because I don't like that. Get the shields up! Get the shields up! Nice. <laughs> you find a weapon system on their ship with no crew to stop you, you can install it on your own. Mwah ha ha. I love it. <laughs> I also got a little bit more scrap than I would have. So now I have another one. It's a small bomb. Only requires one power, so I might... Take some missile, though. Damage the systems and crew, but not the whole. Target your own ship. Why would I, in the world would I want to do that? So this might be a missile-heavy run. Uh, let's go to the store. Sell some crap, buy some crap. Uh, so I can buy some systems, a drone control, or a crew teleporter. I uh, can buy some drones. Uh, I'm gonna sell... Can't buy any weapons, but I'm not probably gonna use the small bomb. So I need to buy a little bit more of those, a little bit more of those. Let's go up to there. Still have enough for a drone control, so I think I'll purchase that. It gives me a system repair. Don't have enough for a beam. I'm probably not gonna use the system repair drone, so I'll just sell it to start with and buy a beam drone. So, it's a small beam weapon, so it'll just be more of a nuisance than anything, because it can't go through the shields. Also can't power it up quite yet, but... I think it, it was a valuable purchase. Another store that I don't really want to go to, so I'll just go... through here? Go through the nebula? Oh no, it's a super giant glass M star and a pirate. Okay, so you, buddy, are going to die. Uh, damage the shields, damage the weapons. Only have to hit them a couple of times. These things tend to pop pretty easily. It's trying to escape! Well, let's kill its uh, cockpit then. It's not going to take much. Uh oh, solar fire! Here it comes. Oh, why are you not on the shields? Oh no! Catrill, you're on fire! Well, so is he. 
He's on fire. He's on fire. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. <laughs> okay, out we go. Uh, another distress. So nebula, make the fleet pursuit slower, but it will disrupt your sensors. So let's go through there. Uh, these are sacred <laughs> clan. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. Don't even ask. Uh, so, again, Artemis to the shields and burst laser to the weapons. So you notice in the nebula the, uh, the sensors don't function, but of course the rebel fleet do not advance as quickly. I think you got me a little bit there. Ouch! And then burst laser is antithesis. Because I can. I'm evil. A little bit of lag there. Alright, so... Let's get a little bit more power. So now I can power up the beam drone if I want. I need some s drones, though. Ion Storm. Hmm... That'll probably be the last thing I do in this sector. Attack the pirate! I don't even listen. I don't even read what it does. I just attack the pirate! Um, so let's do Artemis to the shields, burst laser to the weaponry, and I'm not going to power up the drone just yet. It's just nice to have the extra uh, power to the systems. Oh. Uh, FTL recharge booster? No. I'm just gonna kill you. Sorry. Uh, power up beam drone. This is not gonna end well. Oh well, he died. Oh, ship was transporting weaponry. Nothing survived. Aww. Um, finish repair, just go to the med bay to start with. Okay, good drill, go back to there. Jill, back to there, and talk back to the weapons to repair that. Just get things back up and running. Then we'll be heading over to here, which I don't don't really want to go to because it's an ion storm. And ion storms damage make it so that you don't have enough power to go between your systems. Good thing I have a little bit more power. I'm down below the 66% mark for that, so let's let's just hopefully not die. Sound good? Good. Okay. Jumped into the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Uh, let's manually search the wreckage. An unconscious passenger! Well, welcome aboard, Mr. King! You are going to be our, wep our engines manager. Our engineer. Nice! Didn't expect a new crew member of the first sector. I'm happy with that. I'll just jump to the exit and head off to the next sector, huh? Um, defend the outpost! So, yeah, this should be, uh... I'll power that back up. Oh, this is gonna hurt! Oh, there goes the shields! You see why I didn't play on normal? Oh, I'm gonna have so many one-liners to choose from for, and just to make it end quickly. Die! Salvage what I can. I uh, got some fuel, some missiles, and some scrap. So not bad. Uh, let's just jump on to the next sector, shall we? 
so we've got Uncharted Nebula and Uncharted Nebula. Yeah. But this is our sector map, so uh, green dots are civilian, red dots are hostile, and purple dots are our nebulae. Um, let's go this one, shall we? Uh, so I'm gonna have to navigate on instinct. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot. So we are here, we need to just go through. Uh, Rebel Fleet was prepared, so it's not going to be effective at a hiding spot, but uh, we'll just go through here as much as we can. Uh, Himley damaged Federation Fleet, follow him. Ow. Rebel Fleet. Ooh! Enemy combat drone. About time we run into one of these. Uh, so let's attack. I don't have any drones to attack back, so I'm just gonna attack the shields and attack the drone. Now he's gonna be more of a nuisance than anything. Oh! That's a hole smasher! That's a heavy laser there! Okay. First laser to there. Get those shields up! Hold down to 50% for their. Okay. This is more or less a finished battle. Got hurt a little bit. I hear fire. I'm just gonna let that air out. Okay, I think it's gone. I heard a fire! <laughs> uh, wonders of headphones. I need to find a store. Prepare to be boarded. Okay. If you boarded me, that's fine. I'm just gonna air everything out. Have fun suffocating. Oh, he's in the door system. Okay. Phew. Oh, he's in here. Close doors. Uh oh. Get in there. Get it. Air up the medbay. Crap on a cracker. Just... Oh, there goes the sensors. They weren't doing anything for me anyways. Get out of there! Just everyone into the medbay. And there goes the pilot. There we go! You're not gonna win in here. Close. This could have gone so much better, to be honest. Because I've got a feeling I'm gonna end up panicking a lot in this Let's Play. <laughs> uh, okay. Go fix that. Go fix that. And let's... Let's upgrade the doors! <laughs> Yeah, and let's upgrade that as well. Yeah. Increase the shield percentage a bit. And there we go. On to the next sector. Beacon. Not oh, sector. Beacon. Bacon. Okay. Uh, Artemis to the shields and burst laser to the weapons. <sighs> the stress is getting to me. Oh! There goes the cockpit and any chance of evasion. And his shields didn't get damaged that much, actually. And he missed. Now well, let's just blow him up. Kaboom! <laughs> uh, right, so there's the fleet. Just a little bit. Pirate ship. Attack. Okay, so this guy's got a Zoltan shield, so I have to attack him five times before 
I have to hit him with five points of damage before this work. I'm down to 33% of my shields in a hole. Well, this could end badly. Okay. Artemis and weapons. Um, no, that's a crappy surrender plea. Are you crazy? Uh, let's attack his shields. And he's dead. Go kill yourself in the medbag. A whole missile. What's this do? Whole missile, two power. Twice the damage on systemless rooms. You probably won't use it. Okay, drills healed up. Let's try to find a store for some repairs. Yikes. Just noticed how low my hole was. Attack! I have no sense of self-preservation. <laughs> this shall be my downfall. And no drones either. I need drones. Oh, dang it. He's healthy. <laughs> Fire. I probably should have attacked a different system. I need a, like a NG or something. Kind of like a robot dude. And he's dead. I fix the drone. Nice, nice. Let's get the drone control prepared. And there we go. Need to find a store. Eerily quiet. I look out the viewports and apprehension. And of course there's nothing. A store. No, not an ion storm. <laughs> Whatever life of you are, you find your repugnant. We seek no aid. Leave. Now. <sighs> Fine. Repugnant. Arm the weapons! <laughs> that's always my answer for this. this. That's gonna be my answer a lot for this Let's Play. Arm the weapons! Um, am I gonna be able to kill them fast enough to not worry about the O2 system? Sure. <laughs> Hold your breath! <laughs> Hold your breath, crew! <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be either really funny or really terrible. Okay, so with the shields down, I'm gonna power the oxygen back up. Uh, attack the shields a little bit more. And then, uh, just O2. Sound good? Sound good. Stay that's there. Boom, boom, boom! Kablamo! Bye, Rock Scout. Store? No. Well, looks like I have to go down here. Uh, let's go... Uh, I think we'll be okay going this way. I'm just trying to hit as many areas as possible. Okay, it's an empty sector. Let's go down here. Not that daring. No, it cloaked! Why did it have to cloak? Why? Why? I can't even spool up the weaponry. Okay, I need to attack its... It can't do any damage to me. Okay. One more bit of damage and it shall go down. Shall? Oh, and it cloaked. Well, screw you. 
It'll be blown to pieces as soon as you come back up. And boom, boom, boom. And one step ahead of the fleet. I need a star. Crumb. Okay. Power down the Artemis, power up the O2 system, power up the some degree of the engines, and just attack the weapons. He shouldn't do any damage to me, as long as these things aren't in sync, because he got a mini beam in it. No! Hole critical! Uh, I'm not liking this much. Now, blast it. Don't need anyone on the shields right now. Can't attack me anyways. Just fix the doors. Okay. Another hull missile. Wow. Okay, I just need to get out of here. To the exit. Okay. Well. Hit the second sector. So at this point, I'm going to stop the recording and swap to the next... to prepare for the next sector. So I will kill Jill back up. Thanks for watching this episode. It's the first episode of probably quite a lot. So I thank you for uh, watching. Next episode, we will try to find a store. Eventually. <laughs> uh, safe piloting, folks.